You put your friends in our business. You know they die for attention. Cause ain't no on YouTube. It's your girl Angelina, and I'm back with another video. So today, basically, I don't know what this video is gonna be about, but we're doing a video because I can't be slacking the way I do. So basically today, I'm just gonna be talking to y'all, giving y'all life update, cause I know a lot of y'all don't follow me on Instagram or anything like that. So y'all don't know what's going on with me, um, like new relationship and things like that. And I'm about to go pick up my Chinese food that I ordered for pickup. And I just set up the hookah, so I'm about to go run and get that real quick. So right now, I'm at the Chinese spot. Real quick, feel me? I'm ordering my Chinese food. I got pork fried rice, chicken broccoli, and chicken wings. Cause I'm hungry as shit. So yeah. They about to do. I look mad crazy for what? So we got the Chinese food, feel me? There's a little salandonga or whatever. It's like a little Spanish club or whatever. Feel me? It was mad break. It was snowing earlier. Like, no, why are you doing that? But I had a little hangover. I was at a family party, so I was sleeping all day. I was like, let me get out do a YouTube video because my boyfriend keeps saying, like, do a YouTube video, do a YouTube video. I'm like, all right, damn. So we out here in my city. I look crazy, but... All right, so I'm back and I got my Chinese food. So let me just let me make sure they did everything right because you know sometimes in restaurants, not even just particularly like Chinese food, but in restaurants, they said they couldn't make a spring roll. So I got chicken wings instead. I could just save my money. You know what? Let me just make sure everything's fine. And put in the comments, do y'all be using these packets that they be giving y'all? These. Cause I don't I didn't really like ever like pay mind to them until like lately. I tried the black one, the soy sauce, and it made it like a salty little bit. And I kinda liked it. I don't know. But yeah. Give me a like a plastic straw. Looks Bro, I hate when they like when they um what's that called? I don't even know what it's called. But yeah, so today so recently, um I know y'all seen me in my last house where I was living. And I think y'all know I don't live with my parents, my mom or my dad. And so I moved in like, you know, with my what I called my best friend and then her man. So we was living there. Problems started happening when me and my boyfriend been through some shit there. Hit up my uncle like, yo, I got nowhere to go. Like, can I, like, like, could you help me? Like, you know, so he took me in. He helped me with my problems, you know, confronted a few people, whatever. And cause I'm his niece, like we're blood. So now I live with my uncle. We moved that same day, like something happened again. And yeah, so I've been chilling here. It's good vibes. We just be cracking up, smoking, just doing whatever. We just be cracking up. He helps me, like he takes care of me, like, cause I am underage. I am 17, I'm gonna be turning 18 this year. But so he takes care of me, make sure I'm good. I eat, make sure I need everything I need. Set up appointments for me already. Like he's mad good vibes. And my cat's here, Shadow's still with me. But yeah, that's basically it. I don't know if y'all know, but me and my boyfriend, we made a YouTube channel. It's called Angelina Nijal for Life. The number four and then the capital letter L. So yeah, um, me and him been together for a minute now. Not a minute, minute, but we, it feels like a minute me to me and him. But yeah, big things going to be happening with me and him. This is, this is not as good as the China Walk. This is Wong Wu Garden. This is not as good. Okay. Anyways, what I'm gonna be talking about is basically girl talks. Hygiene, our bodies, what to expect, like your first time, things like that, like stuff like that. So, 
basically let's talk about hygiene first um hygiene is always key i'm very ocd like people that know me like know that i'm just like very ocd i'll take like 100 showers a day like it's not even funny so and i'm at ocd just about like my room or like things that are personal to me like i don't know they just can't be out of order so with hygiene how i take care of myself you know hygiene just basically like everything from your mouth everything not only like you know your private area so basically my routine i get up i brush my teeth because that's the first thing like you should be doing before anything before you eat i don't care i can't eat with like a nasty dirty mouth so brush my teeth wash my face with a clean and clear face wash that's like my favorite my face was breaking out because i wasn't using it and i went back to using it and i was clear so i do that then i take a bath or shower whatever it is i want to do i usually wash myself with like three different body washes so i have the dove then i have this one that my uncle bought from bath and body works is mad good it's like one of the essential oils body washes and it's the lavender one for sleep and it's mad good so first leg, like, I'll put it on the loofah, whatever, wash my body, da da da, feel me? And then I just like soak in the bath and then I'll use the dove. And for like your down there area, what well, works for me, cause every girl is different. Some things will throw off your pH balance, but some things wouldn't do it, like throw it off for me, feel me? So, you know, I just wash my area with soap and water, the outside and shit like that. So, um, make sure to, like, get, get in there. But not, like, in your, like, vagina hole. Don't put soap in there. Don't, no. Don't put soap in there or nothing because it self-cleans itself. So, that's what I do. I do use Summer's Eve. Some people, they be debating about that. Some people, it throws off their pH balance. Some people, it works for them. I'm the, one of the people, like, my cat is doing something weird shadow Psst. what are you doing anyway so summer's eve products they work for me like they don't throw off my ph balance at all so it just depends like you just got to try it out if it don't work for you then never use it again and i know y'all seen i use these cranberry pills they're good you take two a day and they're just good they they make you taste good feel me and they, they're just good for your health urinary tract and stuff like that so I use Summer's Eve. I like the pink one. It smells good. And then I use the spray, the deodorizer. I put I spray it like on my panties. Don't spray it directly onto yourself down there. Don't do that. Cause no, I did that when I was very young and it fucking burned. Don't do that. So that's basically how I take care of my body. I just I'm just clean. Like I know some girls be insecure. Don't be insecure about your body, cause listen. I have zero titties like i have none okay um don't be insecure about your body like love yourself the way you are i loved myself when i was at 140 i love myself now at 118 i lost mad weight i know i was i don't know why i was so like i don't know why i was at 140 and i don't know why i'm at 118 right now because i literally look the same i feel like but I have been insecure about my body, like about my boobs and stuff. I'll be like, oh my God. And then I got to the point where I'm like, yo, I have a nice body though. Like, what can I complain about? Pretty face, all that. Like, but guys will love you the way you are sometimes. Some guys, some guys be assholes. But love yourself the way you are. Don't be insecure. I hate when girls be insecure. I'll be like, no, girl, I'm like, I wish I had your body, shit but don't be insecure about yourself love yourself the way you are because a man the right man will love you the way you are as well but um let's let's see what to expect your first time what to expect your first time these are everything i'm talking about right now is what someone dm'd me so what to expect your first time when you mm, when it comes down to it and you having your first time make sure not to do it at like a really young age 
like I did. But it's, it, it's not bad though. Like it don't change nothing depending on who you are. But make sure to do it with like the right person. The person you always do it with the first time isn't going to be your forever. Or it might be. But nine times out of ten, it won't be your forever. Because I jacked my first time as my forever and look at where it turned out. So, what's expected first time? Always use protection. Feel me? You don't want to get nothing. I don't know if the person is doing it for the first time too, but you don't want to get nothing. Also, you don't want to have a little accident have a baby because mm -mm, mm -mm, no babies all 2021 and moving forward. So, what's to expect your first time? For me, I know, I don't know if y'all seen my first time video, but for me, it didn't really hurt like that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I had like, you know, sexual experience with a female before that. I'm not using like dildos or none of that fingers wise so i don't know if it didn't hurt because of that but it didn't hurt as much i did bleed expect to bleed um and yeah just just take shit slow like don't rush into it and i know you'll probably be scared but listen once it's done and over with you're gonna be like yo i want to do it all the time so there's really like i don't know everyone's sex experience is different like feel me but yeah that's really all i gotta say in this video but yeah that's basically like my my life update um i'm gonna just eat this chinese food also with school make sure to stay up with that because I was slacking and now I'm in the deep end. I'm not failing, but like I need to do my school work. And I need to get my car when I turn 18. Mm -mm -mm. So basically that's it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.